You're the man. No. No, you're out here with us, dude. You're a leader from the front, and I love it. What's up, guys? Welcome to the YouTube channel. Like, subscribe. We are in the streets on a door to door blitz, and we have got $500 giveaway. It's going to be me versus all of my team. We've got Jared in from Utah. He's the Storm and Mormon. He's going to take the prize, or is it going to be Leslie? He's from Boston. He said he just got the deal. It didn't take him long. We're all scrambling around. Leslie moved in, in and out within 20 minutes. He got the last deal. So we're going to give $500 to the person who gets the most deals in the next hour. The only catch is you got to beat me. Jerry, the solar guy, qualifies. Jerry, we're in a we got a contest going right now. It's 340. All right, in one hour. 440, whoever gets the most deals, 500 bucks. 500 bucks, one hour. All right, here we go. 500 bucks, one hour, power hour. Who's going to win? Let's see. He earned the leader's attention by having a good attitude and always going out there and working hard. And my man Leslie always has a good attitude. He actually dealt with a death in his family here recently. And uh, he's he's bouncing back quite quite strong. He's the one that got the deal. He's the one that got the deal. Here we go. He's going down right here. All right, so I like to cheat. I like to look for people that are outside. I like to look for nice yards. I like to look for nice vehicles with old roofs. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, whoever can get a copy of a power bill and a roof deal. That counts for two. So we're cheating over here. We got. We got solar cheat codes over here in the back. Jared, what do you say? That's This is cherry picking, we're skipping too many doors. I'm looking for the perfect place to pull out. See, a lot of architectural I kinda, I had a good feeling about this one, okay? I had a good feeling about this one, and there's definitely somebody in the driveway. Air Force. Jared, you got this, go ahead. You hit that one, uh, Adrian, and I'm gonna go get the one with uh, the, the Honda CRV. Here we go. My name's Adrian Balderas. I'm out here with the big boss, and uh, yeah, what I'm doing is trying to beat him. Get that $500. All right, Adrian. Show me what you got, buddy. 17 years old. What'd you learn from the book, The 10X Rule? The 10X Rule is just do more, shoot for more. No, things are going to be 10 times harder than you think they are. People, they say that people from your generation are soft. Hell no. Huh? Hell no. Hell no? Hell no. Say that, you don't know how to work. You don't know what to talk about. How, what year were you born? 2003. Oh, they call, what do they call that? I graduated high school that year. I think it's like a Generation Y or something. Gen Z. Gen Z. Get them. No roof left behind campaign. Parents, talk to your parents. Question, are you fancy? Uh, no. If you give them a chance, just give them this tongue pump. They're here. Parents are here. They lied. They always lie. Don't don't ask them questions that allow them to lie. Even though you just got outsold by a five-year-old. God damn! You asked the wrong question, dog. It's very important. It's a pressing matter. Tell, go tell your mom it's it's urgent. That way, it's not an emergency. This is probably a rental. Oh, dude, we got one hour. Only got one hour. Oh, yeah, you already on one, huh? Uh, yeah, just gonna inspect the week they got um, for April right here. Uh, okay. They got, they, you know, uh, 2004 when the storm rolled through last, they had these shingles put on. Oh, nice. But she's got a leak on her pants. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, do we have a ladder? No, we don't. Phone. But call in a ladder. Phone a friend. Phone a friend. Phone a friend. So we got Jared in. He's from Utah. He's done door-to-door -door alarms. He's done door-to-door -door solar. He's what we call a door-to-door -door expert. He sold for all different companies. He started with Vivint. And working with all these different companies, going door-to-door, -door, you see a lot of people have bad pitches, a lot of bad roofing pitches, right? Well, they have right? great pitches, and that's the problem. Is their pitches are too good, and they're too good at their job. Where they, people just want to connect with someone and feel the emotion, but also this is their number one investment. This is what their home, where they live in. And we know there's damage a lot of times, and they don't. And so we can show up and combat them at that, or we can just agree that their, their house is very nice and it's worth taking a look at. Not everyone is in the same situation, but if we're gonna skip some of the good roofs when an actual storm rolls through, that's the problem. You know, a lot of roofers are skipping by these, you know, good roofs 
and they're the ones that sometimes have the shingles missing and they're the ones that are for sure going to be approved um and so one just be agreeable and then two don't be very respectful don't tell them yeah don't tell them there's damage right he and has a really unassuming not over the top overbearing like even though he's persistent he's very kind with his delivery we want to do service in a, in a sense to go up and inspect the roof as a roofer because if we take pictures today and it's not damaged and we send them that report well when the storm does roll through it's a guaranteed approval right but 99 percent of the time there is already damage and they're going to be approved today um and so like yeah it's just kind of like we need to go get another one that balloon that's what we need to do did you get that one tuesday the one you spent the time in the garage yeah we, we got all right his roof. see it's just about getting the cat running around the mice running around all the little activity begets activity boy that's what you got to do sometimes now as the owner you don't really like going door to door i don't even have to knock on doors right now i get them all excited about it man i get all juices all flowing that's what you got to do man you got to get silly with it sometimes and just gotta, you know, quit worrying about exactly what everybody says or what's happening on Facebook or what's happening on your damn cell phone. Plug into the neighborhood. Let's go. Well, let's make America great again right here. One roof at a time, baby. We've got America fly. We're going to help this guy get a new roof. Here we go. Man, that is a new roof. Close to it. Because I'm going to buy. I'm going to get this thing. I see the lift from here. Let's, we'll use Jared's pitch. We'll get a little softer approach. Hello. How you doing, sir? Hi. Lee Hate, man. Taking care of everybody in the neighborhood. Our RCA? What? Um, the roofing company that's replaced all the roofs, the HOA roofs, uh, all the roofs. Man, if I wanted a roof, I couldn't even that's, afford it. That's why I come here. I wanted to make sure you didn't miss out because I'm not selling a roof. No. We're doing inspections for no. wind damage. I, uh, okay, I appreciate that. I, I, I really don't want anything. Because it's expensive and what sir, we do, oh all gosh. these roofs your neighbors haven't uh, been sir, paying for. I'm, I'm trying to say I don't want anything. Yeah. I That's okay, but the insurance company pays for it. It's wind damage. I, I hear you, but I'm trying to say I don't. I'm not. You interested. don't have insurance. I'm, I'm not interested. Okay, well, please. Have I'm you seen all interested. the roof replaced? I'm just trying to help you make sense no, of it. No, I, I understand. I'm not interested. Please. I'm not trying to sell you. I'm just trying I, to tell I, you. I, I, I understand. Can you what just you're doing. listen to me? I'm trying to say I'm not interested. Sometimes you just got to get kicked on the nuts on camera. Let's go. See, you gotta have fun with it, man. He wasn't listening to me, so I thought I'd just keep asking the same question. Some might call it belligerent, some might call me an asshole. If he'd have told me, dude, I don't have the money and I don't have insurance, I would have completely understood, but he wasn't being rational. Obstinate! And you know what? That's one very important characteristic of a door to door. Oh, we gotta hustle. We gotta get this deal. Power hour's closing. We gotta get this deal. Hello! How y'all doing? I'm, I'm, I'm Lee. I'm taking care of everyone's roofs in the neighborhood. Yeah, well, we're all set with the, dog, with the door. Yeah, I'm, I'm not selling a door. Our roof has a 30, we have a 30-year roof, and that goes for another couple of years. Yeah, smart. Um, but here's the deal. There's storm damage to the roof, maybe. I don't know. Okay, yeah. I don't know either, but we're not going to do anything right now. Well, you're, well, let me, you see all the roofs that have been replaced? That's because the insurance companies wrote them checks to replace the roofs. You're not making sense okay. by saying that you don't want an inspection because if the roof's 30 years old and it has storm damage. It's not it, 30 years old yet. You said it's it was close to it, 15? Eight, I don't know how many years, but well, we're going to... You see that HOA getting the roof replaced? $500,000 check was written because there was wind damage to the roof. I could no, see. I just come in here and let everyone... She's not going to do it. This is her house and she's not going to do it. I just, she's got dementia and I'm yeah. not going to deal with her. Yeah. So, well, I mean, here's the deal. Are you going to take control of the house one day? One day, but not All right. right now. I know, but listen, you can avoid like this simple conversation. I'm here because of one thing. I've replaced 30 roofs in the neighborhood. Every one of them had storm damage. The insurance company wrote a check. You or her are going to write a check out of your pocket for $20,000 for this roof. Now, she has paid her hard-earned money into insurance, and she does not understand it. We got a little good one here. We had a dementia client here. It's all right. We had her daughter. Talk to her daughter first. I'll let her know. And just like I was saying, being obstinate, it takes a little bit of obstinance right back. So now we got an appointment and we're gonna get the deal. We're gonna call the insurance company, ink the deal, and here's how it works. You just gotta be persistent, baby. You gotta know. Some people, they stop at the first sign of resistance. The American dream is about fighting for it. And we're gonna fight for this people getting a new roof. We're gonna do these people a public service. We're gonna help them out whether they want it or not, because we know it's better for them. That's the attitude you gotta have, and we're gonna win this contest because I ain't giving these mother $500. Give me a ladder. Are we out here seven people humping the same ladder? 
Let's stop. It can't work. It's rained out. Rain day. Hit the bong. Go get some video games, some cold beer. Look, guys, it's not how it works. So we come up on a roof, man, and it's really challenging. When you find an older roof, it's got potential wind damage, but you don't find a ton of missing shingles. But we're looking for about three things. We're looking for crease shingles. We're looking for mat transfer, broken seals, and we're looking for flying debris strikes like this right here. Might have come down through a hurricane. What we want to do is we want to test the seal of these shingles by giving a little pressure. As you can see, the seal's broken on this shingle. I'm gonna look up underneath and I'm gonna see is the fastener attached, all right? And I'm gonna see a slight crease here on this shingle right here, right here, right here, baby. That's what we're looking for. And if you go across this roof, got a lot of damaged and creased shingles. A roof like this is supposed to be sealed in tight. So if I lift to the roof like this and I've got damage and I got a crease along the line right here, we got a damaged shingle, okay? Then here, right here, you see here more damage. It's lightning strikes around us. We got debris on the shingle. We got some zipper in here. This is zippering, okay? So, customer, they're unaware of any damages. They have no idea. Can't see it from the ground, but there's definitely enough. Plus, this roof's so old, it fails the brittle test. What's the brittle test? Well, the brittle test is where you gotta pull out one of these shingles, okay? You gotta pull out one of these shingles without it ripping. And right now, okay, it looks like this thing here passes the, big, the old brittle test. However, a lot of damage here. Almost every damn tab seal's broken, pre-shingle flying debris hits for replacement. It's all about certainty, baby. We're gonna go pass it on to the homeowner and get the deal, baby. Here we go. Man, if they close this other deal, I'm gonna lose my power hour, all because that insurance company had me on hold. It's not fair. I'm gonna have to cut the check, $500. We've gotten three deals in the last hour. They're working on their second deal. Everybody got one deal, but they're working on their second, and if they get this deal, I'm gonna lose this contest because of the freaking insurance company. But you know what, I got my team excited. I got them fired up. We're out here in the rain working. Everybody else be crying, oh, the rain, the lightning is striking. I can't be carrying a ladder with a lightning. Listen. If you're scared, go to church. If you want to go get something, go hardcore door to door. Yes, sir. Little snack. Yeah. Let's go get a snack. Looks like you got the 500. So you want me to head back yeah. uh, with the samples? Good job. Yeah. 500 bucks to the winner. Right here. I've been defeated by a door to door expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, subscribe, comment below, man. Come on, we'll see you.